Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Yesterday evening, through a press statement, IEBC alleged that the government had arrested three Venezuelan nationals, officials of Smartmatic Technology Company, a company that has been contracted by IEBC to oversee its electronic results transmission. So yesterday, IEBC was alleging that the government had arrested and detained three employees of the company. That was yesterday evening. So today, William Ruto's team, Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, have also issued a press statement, maybe in response to that press release yesterday by IEBC. But from the press statement again, they are also attacking and accusing the government of planning to rig this year's presidential elections just 18 days away. And from the press statement again, it's interesting that William Ruto's team might be making a U-turn on IEBC because from the wordings of the press statement, it's as if William Ruto's team, they are now not very sure or very confident with IEBC or rather on IEBC. So in this video, I want us to have a look at that press statement, just areas I feel are relevant, because it's a very long press statement, we can't go through the whole of it. I want us to have a look at the relevant areas, after which, as usual here, we are going to dissect it to see exactly what it means politically and what William Ruto and his team are trying to achieve. Let's have a look at it. Kenya Kwanzaa, William Samuel Ruto, press statement. Let's jump to paragraph 9. And this is the question now William Ruto is asking the government. The question that must be answered is this. What do these people want from the elections I ICT personnel? The answer is simple. They want to invade the election technology and to compromise its integrity for the benefit of the Azimio project. Mm -hmm. We all know how they have been insisting on using manual register for these elections, having sensed imminent defeat. They now want to go the Musando way through forcing out of ICT officials information that should enable them beat computer firewalls. Let's jump to paragraph 15. In fact, from that paragraph alone, William Ruto's team is accusing the government of planning to rig this year's elections. That's what I'm making of that paragraph. Let's jump to paragraph 15. On its part, the IEBC must reassure Kenyans on the safety of all election-related material, including its handling and distribution. End of story. Thus, I've just read part, or rather bits, of that long press statement. And from those two paragraphs, it's clear William Ruto and his team they are seeing a possibility or they are looking at a situation where maybe they are seeing the government planning to rig this year's elections. That's what William Ruto and his team are saying through that press statement. And also from that press statement, paragraph 9, 15, I mean, I, William Ruto's team are now putting or rather putting IEBC on the spot. By saying this, on its part, the IEBC must reassure Kenyans on the safety 
of all election related materials. I'm taking that to mean William Ruto and his team, they have doubts now about IEBC. <laughs> William Ruto and his team, they have doubts about this, I, this safety election related materials. William Ruto and his team, they now have doubts with IEBC about that. And I won't be wrong to state this way even before we dig deep. I'm seeing a situation where in the coming days, William Ruto and his team are going to be accusing IEBC of planning to rig these year's elections. I'm seeing such kind of a possibility. In the coming days, William Ruto and his Kenya Kwanzaa, they are going to be complaining and attacking IEBC. And I'm saying that because for those keenly following William Ruto, William Ruto is not a person you can take his word seriously. William Ruto is a non flip flopper. He talks something today, tomorrow William Ruto will be saying the complete opposite of what he was saying yesterday. And for those who can remember some few weeks ago, William Ruto himself was supporting manual register. And then when he saw Raila was also supporting the manual register, William Ruto made an about turn and he was now not supporting manual register. William Ruto is on record <laughs> supporting manual register. Just some few days ago, William Ruto threw his weight and confirmed his trust and confidence in IEBC. And the main reason for that is simply because Raila Odinga might have been complaining about IEBC. So William Ruto threw his weight behind IEBC without knowing what he was doing. William Ruto was laid for a trap. A very clever trap in that the Azimio team wanted William Ruto to declare his confidence in IEBC, which he did. That was a trap laid for William Ruto. And now that he smeared himself in the trap, cards are now being opened for him now to see exactly what is happening here. And I won't be surprised, just as I've stated, that in the coming days, William Ruto will be complaining about IEBC planning to rig this year's presidential elections. And again, if you look at William Ruto, I've always maintained that William Ruto talks a lot. He talks a lot. And someone who does not know William Ruto can think that the things that he's talking he knows. William Ruto does not know what he's saying. He's just a noisemaker, a heckler, someone who just talks. Mm. So you can think he knows what he's actually talking. William Ruto does not know what he has, has all along been talking. I'm seeing William Ruto just trying to use propaganda. Mm. He wants to project an image that may be as a deal with IEBC. Mm. William Ruto wants that to come out. That, you know, we have a deal with IEBC. And the main aim of that is to actually kill the morale of Azimio supporters into thinking that now, now that Ruto and IBC are together, this thing we cannot win. That's, what the, that's the trick I'm seeing William Ruto actually trying to do here and is trying to achieve that notion that he is working with IEBC. But the truth of the matter, William Ruto is not in any deal at all with IEBC. And if he is in a deal with IEBC, then he has been misled. That deal will not yield fruit. And from that press statement, ladies and gentlemen, I'm seeing a William Ruto's team just making an overall U-turn on IEBC. William Ruto, they no longer trust IEBC. 
William Ruto and his team are clearly sensing defeat. And that's why they are alleging, in fact, they are even roping the issue of Musando. Hmm. While not knowing that Moses Kuri and William Ruto were in that same, same government, and those two leaders have been adversely, adversely mentioned in the case of Musando. So I'm just seeing a total confusion in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. They don't know what they're saying. Musera Mudaba is issuing that press statement and then is going to, is in a camp with Moses Kuri and William Ruto. It actually beats the logic. <laughs> yani it doesn't make sense, in other words. Let me leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. In case you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya.